Hello, I am Dr. Philip from Hospital Raja Parmaisuri by known Kipo. Today we are going to look at the vestibular system, which is the main uh, organ system that is involved in the maintenance of balance. The vestibular apparatus consists of autolytic organs, which are the utricle and saccule, and three pairs of semicircular canals, the superior semicircular canal, the posterior semicircular canal, and the horizontal semicircular canal, or also known as the lateral semicircular canal. Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo is the most common cause of peripheral vertigo. It is due to autolytic debris from the utricle which has gone into the semicircular canals. This stimulates the N organs here and that results in vertigo which is positional. The most common type of PPV is BPPV due to the posterior canal. Diagnosis of posterior canal BPPV is made by the Dix or by maneuver. To treat BPPV, there are several maneuvers. The most common, which is the modified Apple's maneuver and the Simon's maneuver. Another movement that has been found to be quite effective is the Simon's plus maneuver. The next most common canal involved is the horizontal semicircular canal. Diagnosis of horizontal canal BPPV is made by the supine roll test. Treatment, there are a few options. The most common is the Lampert maneuver or the barbecue roll or log roll or barrel roll. They all refer to the same movement where the patient is turned 360 degrees. Other alternative maneuvers are the Buffoni maneuver and, and the direction of the Buffoni maneuver depends on the type of uh, lateral canal DPPV, which can either be geotropic or ageotropic. Geotropic means the nystagmus beats towards the ground. Ageotropic or apogeotropic means the nystagmus beats away, away from the ground or it beats upwards. The last or most infrequent semicircular canal involved for BPPV is the superior semicircular canal. The position of the canal makes it difficult for debris to remain in this canal, so that is why it is uncommon. Diagnosis of superior canal BPPV is by the supine head hanging test. So this test gives us a vertical nystagmus upon doing the test. How is superior semicircular canal treated? There are a few maneuvers. One is the reverse hall pipe or the short applis, or the Yakovino maneuver. The advantage of the Yakovino maneuver is that it uh, does not depend on the site, or which site the anterior canal is involved. There is a, a newer version of the Yakovino maneuver, which is called the modified Yakovino maneuver, which gives better results. Other options are the reverse all pipe or the short apple. The reverse applis maneuver is similar to the normal applis except it is done in the opposite direction. So if we have a right anterior canal DPPV, a left applis is done. Good morning, I am here to describe the positional maneuvers for uh, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, also known as BPPV. BPPV is the commonest cause of uh, peripheral vertigo and it is due to autolytes or small particles in the semicircular canals and it can affect the posterior semicircular canal, superior semicircular canal and the lateral semicircular canal. The most common canal to be affected is the posterior semicircular canal. The test, the diagnostic test maneuver that we do is the dix pipe maneuver. The dix pipe maneuver is a very simple maneuver where we turn the patient's head 45 degrees and bring the patient's head down for another 30 degrees. The patient needs to be kept in this position for about 30 seconds and we observe for his statements. That is confirmatory of posterior canal BPPV. Then the patient is brought back up 
to the sitting position. The next test that I'm going to describe is the head hanging test for anterior canal DPTV. It's a very simple maneuver. The patient is brought down to the horizontal position and the head extended 30 degrees from the horizontal position. The patient is kept in this position for 30 seconds and we observe for vertical nystagmus. Then the patient is brought up again to the sitting position. And that concludes the head hanging test for anterior canal BPPV. So for lateral canal BPPV, we do the supine roll test. And here the patient is brought down. Head is flexed 30 degrees. Head is turned to the right 90 degrees. We observe on the stagments. And then the head is turned 90 degrees to the other side. We observe on stagmus again. That concludes the supine roll test. So now we move on to the therapeutic maneuvers for BPPV, and we will start with the most common maneuvers used. For posterior canal, we do the Epley's maneuver. An alternative to the Epley's maneuver is the Simon's maneuver. So and the first step of the Epley's maneuver is the fixed small five position. The patient is brought down to the head uh, 30 degrees from the horizontal plane. We observe for nystagmus and wait until the nystagmus subsides or the patient no longer has any symptoms. Then the head is turned 90 degrees to the opposite side. Again, we wait for symptoms to subside or for the nystagmus to stop. The third step is to ask the patient to turn to the side, looking downward. Again, we wait for the symptoms to subside or for the nystagmus to stop. Once that is done, we ask the patient to sit up. Down. The patient is asked to look down so that the particles fall into the uterus. The patient is kept in this position and it is important to be with the patient when he stands up because the patient can suddenly fall if particles fall into the uterus. The therapeutic maneuver for anterior canal BPPV is the modified Jacobino maneuver. This maneuver is an extension of the head hanging test. The first step is similar to the head hanging test. The patient is asked to come down with the head extended 30 degrees from the horizontal plane. He is kept in this position for 30 seconds. We wait till the stagmus subsides. And then the patient is brought up into sitting position, kept in this position for another 30 seconds or until the stagmus subsides. And then the head is flexed 45 degrees. That completes the Jacobino maneuver for anterior canal BPPV. An alternative maneuver to the Hathlis maneuver is the Simons maneuver. Simons maneuver is more effective for cupulolithiasis. How we do it is, if the patient has a right BPPV, head is turned 45 degrees, the patient is brought down quickly to the affected side, we wait the symptoms subside or until we no longer see any nystagmus and then the patient is rapidly brought to the other side. Again, we wait for the symptoms to subside or for the nystagmus to stop. And then the patient is brought to sitting position. So that completes the Simon maneuver. The next maneuver that I'm going to demonstrate is the Simon plus maneuver. This procedure has an additional success rate compared to the traditional Simon maneuver. The difference compared to the traditional Simon maneuver is that in the Simon plus, the head is further extended another 60 degrees. So again, patient's head is turned to the left side, which is the right posterior canal BPPV. Patient is brought down and the head extended an additional 60 degrees. We wait for symptom to subside or until there's no more nystagmus. Then the patient is rapidly brought to the other side 
head facing down and again we wait for symptoms to subside or until there's no more nystagmus and the patient sits up. So that concludes the Simon Plus maneuver. The maneuver that we are going to demonstrate now is the Lampert maneuver, also known as the barbecue roll, lock roll or barrel roll maneuver for lateral canal PTPV. The one roll test is done to determine the site involved and the site with the stronger beating stagmus towards the ground is the affected site. So let's assume, assume this patient has a right lateral canal PTPV. The first step is to turn the head 90 degrees to the patient's right. We wait till symptoms subside, or the stagmus stops. And then the patient is further turned another 90 degrees so that its head faces downwards. Again, we wait till the symptoms subside or the signs are no longer seen. Then the patient turns another 90 degrees left. Again, we wait for the signs and symptoms to subside. And finally, the patient comes back to its original position and the patient is brought forward to sit up. So that concludes the Lampert or the block roll maneuver. An alternative maneuver for lateral canal DPPV is the Buffoni maneuver. This is a very simple maneuver for patients with Canalolithiasis of the geotropic variant, patient is brought down to the unaffected side. We hold the head for a minute, and then turn the head towards the couch. Again, this position is held for one minute, and the patient is brought back up to the sitting position. For the A geotropic variant, patient's head is brought towards the affected side. Again, the head is held in this position for one minute, and then the head is turned downwards towards the ground. This position is held for another one minute, and the patient is brought back to sitting position. And that concludes the performing maneuver. Okay, so, thank you. <laughs>